Hi, what's up for Grenadics? This is Harriet and you're watching Notes of Scent. Today's video is going to be about my signature scent. This is the perfume that started it all. Uh, I remember I went to Switzerland because I was assigned there for work for I think a week or so. I wasn't into perfume that time yet. So I saw this installation, Parfum Edition or something, Frederick Mao. The name Portrait of a Lady got my attention. So then I tested it. The first sniff was just, oh, okay, it smells different. It smells something I haven't smelled before. Maybe because my nose isn't really experienced. I tested it on my skin, sprayed it on like here and I even like rub it. You know, you shouldn't rub perfumes because molecules blah 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 went straight back to the hotel i had a shower when i wake up in the morning i was so surprised that the smell was still there it started to smell from being different to interesting and then third day I've gone to the point where perfume doesn't smell different interesting anymore it just felt like i was and like there's this uh, i don't know like it's so difficult to explain there's this kind of like a layer surrounding me that makes me feel new when you have this something it could be the silliest stuff out there but if it holds a value to you now you'll do almost everything just to get it two days before my flight back to London I know I was just talking to my colleague like oh my gosh like there's this thing I wanted to get blah 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 and he was like oh my gosh that's so expensive a hundred ml of liquid for this amount of money. But then a part of me was like, mm, no, not really, I wanted to get it. So I got it. And now it's my signature scent. It made me wanting to, to explore perfumes. Not because it's one of the senses that I find enjoyable, but I wanted to explore more. And I know that the world is it's so big. There's a lot of things that hasn't been discovered yet. You know what I mean? Like you can't fathom what is out there to discover. I think that's the reason why I've decided to become a fraghead, a fragrant addict. And going back to my signature scent, sorry. If you're looking for a signature scent, there are a few things that you have to consider. One is that if it's a scent that makes you feel different, in a good way, obviously. Second is that it's a scent that you like, not because other people tell you that it smells good on you. It's a scent that you don't need validation for. And that's the story behind how I decided P.O.L. to be my signature scent. But just a quick profile of the perfume. This is Portrait of a Lady. And the nose behind this is Dominique Ropion. This was launched the year 2010. And this is considered a warm, spicy. But to me, this is more floriental. The notes are Turkish rose, raspberry, blackcurrant, cinnamon, clove, patchouli, sandalwood, incense, ambroxan, benzoin, and white musk. The reason why I enjoyed it is because of probably the raspberry, the rose, I love rose, and also the white musk. Even Body Shop's white musk is something that I have worn a lot of times a long time ago. I didn't know that all those notes would work well together. They sounded so like in different worlds, you know what I mean? Like clove, if you smell it, it's not really that enjoyable. Clove is more gastronomical than olfactory. But then all of these notes combine, it just creates that unexpected, beautiful perfume. This is named after the novel by Henry James, the year 1881. She smells of dark roses, mystical and intense. Yeah, the word intense is the best word to describe this perfume. Both the sillage and the longevity. Longevity is like hours and hours. So a metaphor of the sillage for this perfume would be like, imagine you're just a stick and then you're creating this big bonfire and the fire is like blazing. That's like the sillage of this perfume. 
The bottle is just, yeah, the modern Frederick Mall. Would I say that it's uh, worth the price? Yes, I think so. I've heard that there are some reformulations, but you know, I hope that they wouldn't change this because it's beautiful. This scent is a perfectly balanced yin yang. Think fragrance, when you smelt it, it smells different just by itself, but when you put it on your skin and it mixes with your chemistry, and when I say chemistry, I just meant sweat but it's just like a fancy way of saying it. It would smell different, trust me. And also, this is the colors that I associate Portrait of a Lady with. So yes, thank you so much for watching Fragranetics. I hope you enjoy the video and if you do, hit the like button because I would really appreciate it if you show some love. If you wanted to share your signature scent please do leave a comment down below and if you're new to the channel um you could just you know subscribe we can connect for now i think i need to sleep quarter to three bye